If you have been watching the mainstream media, you probably know every little detail when it comes to Lamar Odom's sex and drug filled overdose, but you have no idea about a new Edward Snowden coming out releasing very important documents to the US drone strike program, the deposition matrix, revealing shocking information about the mass murder by our very own government. Look at this. This is when you know you're in trouble. Type in Lamar Odom, 16 million results. Type in new Edward Snowden, 763,000. Now the new documents are being revealed by The Intercept, the people who have been working with Edward Snowden. They released a multiple part series revealing all the documentation that they received from this new whistleblower and the details of what they're uncovering are horrifying. We are finding out that a British citizen who could have been easily captured was just assassinated for the sake of it. We're learning that the drone strike program, which the U.S. government, which Barack Obama is claiming to be precise, claiming to be cleaner, more effective, more precise, those programs are based on unreliable intelligence. 90% of the victims of these drone strikes are not intended targets, innocent human beings, men, women, children who are not on the kill list, who are innocent bystanders, are being murdered by our very own government, by our very own tax dollars. And Barack Hussein Obama is keeping all the documentation secret. He's telling you that this is the best, most precise, effective way to wage war. And we're finding out right now because of this new Edward Snowden, that that is an utter and complete lie. Again, our government is lying to us. And of course, they're scrambling. You would think when a government gets caught killing 90% of innocent human beings with a drone program that they've kept secret, kept secret, that they claim is so effective, you think they would apologize. You think that they would come out and make a statement showing how wrong they were. No! Right now, their spy, their main objective is to look for this new whistleblower and hunt him down or her or whoever this human being was. This has been an extremely key issue because we know American citizens, including a 16-year-old American citizen, have been murdered by these drone strikes. We asked Robert Gibbs, Obama's spokesperson, Obama's advisor, his right-hand man, how does he justify the murder of a 16-year-old American citizen? And this is what he said. Uh, I, I would suggest that you uh, should have a far more responsible father if they're uh, truly concerned about the well-being of their children. Uh, I don't think you're coming at that now. He said he should have had a better father. This kid was innocent. We talked to Debbie Men Washerman Schultz, the head of the DNC. Obama has a secret kill list, which he has used to assassinate different people all over the world. I'm happy to answer any serious questions. Why is that not certain? Because I have no idea what you're talking about. The idiot didn't even know what it was. I confronted her again, and she had the gall. She had the balls to try to tell me it is constitutional. I'm going to confront her again and ask her where in the Constitution does it say that the President of the United States, which we know now because of these leaked documents, could sit down every Tuesday, call it Terror Tuesday, sit down every Tuesday and decide who lives and dies. It's insane. And then we have people like Hillary Clinton, who's going after all these whistleblowers, including with Rand Paul, who's saying that Edward Snowden should be in jail after releasing all the de classified information that he released beforehand unrelated to this. Obviously, we talked to the lawyers. Obviously, the way the U.S. government run runs and operates after speaking to Edward Snowden's lawyer in this very critically key important video, we're finding out that whistleblowers, honest whistleblowers who went through the chain of command like Thomas Drake and William Binney, were persecuted, were arrested, had their house raided when they were trying to effectively through the system release information that was critically important to the American public that showed gross misconduct by our government. And then we have Hillary frickin' Clinton telling you, and Rand Paul telling you, Edward Snowden and these whistleblowers should just go through the chain of command. No. There's a reason they're hunting down this new whistleblower. There's a reason 
none of the mainstream media outlets on television have ever mentioned this. They keep you distracted. Lamar Odom, sex, drugs, overdose. Ah. Edward Snowden, new Edward Snowden coming out. Nothing on the television. All the videos, including one of Robert Gibbs, Debbie Washerman Schultz, the lawyer of Edward Snowden, will be in the description below, including with the link to this new series that The Intercept has just released. If you found this video helpful and you want to help spread the awareness of the true nature of our very own government, the man who sits down and murders people every Tuesday and calls the shots. If you want people to know about who this man really is, who claims he cares about human life, who claims we have to stop gun violence because he cares. Bull crap. Bull crap and utter lies. The American people need to see this. You need to share this. And don't forget, we're going to have a lot more hard-hitting content coming your way here on YouTube.com forward slash We Are Change.